Today's journey takes us to the Emilia Romagna region, located in northern Italy. In particular, we are in the Parma area. Parma is the second city of Emilia Romagna, and its architectural charm is intertwined with its prestigious history. Already in the Roman period it was a flourishing center, and its name became Chrysopoli in the Byzantine period. One of most important monument of the city is the cathedral and the baptistery. The Parma Cathedral, boasting 900 years of age, it is a sacred place of art and history. The Roman bas-reliefs of Antilami and the grandiose frescoes of Allegri emanate devotion. Once you have visited the Duomo, which is the very expression of art, you will move closer to the most sacred treasure of Parma. But there are many monuments that the city and its surroundings offer to visitors. And famous is also an illustrious Parmesan, Giuseppe Verdi, who even now with his works, is represented in all the theatres of the world. And we cannot forget other masterpieces among the symbols of Italian cuisine, which were born in Parma. Parmigiano Reggiano and Parma Ham. Equally rich in culture are the surroundings of Parma. There are many palaces and castles that from the medieval period to the Renaissance and beyond, have seen the birth in these areas. And it is precisely in one of these castles that we will visit today. Located on a hill overlooking the Val Palma, Torrechiara is one of the best preserved fortifications in the whole region. It was built between 1448 and 1460 by Pia Maria de Rossi, who had it surrounded by a triple wall and four corner towers connected by crenellated parapets. Later two lodges were added on the east side. Inside, a beautiful square courtyard rests on arches and windows decorated with elaborate terracotta moldings in the Lombard style. The most beautiful of the decorated rooms is the Golden Room, so defined for the pure gold that once adorned the terracotta medallions set in the wall, whose cycle of frescoes, dating back to 1462 and attributed to Bernadetto Bembo, depicts a romance and chivalry. The frescoes tell the story of Pia Maria Ross's passion for his beloved Bianca Pellegrini. The two intertwined hearts and the initials of Bianca and Pia Maria are visible, joined by a ribbon bearing the motto Nunc et Semper, now and forever, in English. The Golden Room overlooks the large loggia built at the end of the 1500s, when the castle lost its defensive function and was transformed into a noble residence.
Thank you for watching this video and subscribe to the channel.